to roll backwards and if I'm standing right here it's gonna run me over because this cannon's a lot heavier than I am. So I would carry at the number four position a short rope which they called a lanyard. Up and man number five who gets the most tiring job on a hot day like today carries this haversack. He would go back, they put the ammunition in the haversack he would run it forward, show it to the gunner who'd approve it, and then take it up to man number two who'd load it, and then he'd go back. Well, Kelsey, are you ready for the cannon to go off? Yeah, they're going to fire. All right. Dana do? She's fine. My left ear is up shut. Dana, did you like the big boom? Boom. The silk was called, um, the silk was used primarily on boats and you wouldn't have sewn things like stars on it. What you would have done is the silk would have flown and they would have painted things like stripes and stars on them. All our soldiers out there, um, they represent Fort Mifflin, have wool outfits on them with linen on and, and this was the flag that she supposedly made, although they really have no records in Navy. Uh, so she was a flag maker, but if you check her website and her homepage, it's a very interesting thing to read. Um, you find out an awful lot about Betsy. But um, this was the flag during that time period that was supposedly the first flag. Area. The star is not equal in the battle with Benny. Yeah. Also, there's also talk that possibly this flag was used during our centennial when we turned 100 yeah. years old. Therefore, it would be 76, 1876. So this was probably the flag produced around that time period. Although there's controversy. And these were with five. And Betsy convinced George Washington that she had this ingenious way of making stars with one snip of her scissors. We were defending the fort, and the British were attacking. They wanted to take Baltimore, but they had to take Fort McHenry. And they felt they could take it in about two hours. This would be a piece of cake. They took some American prisoners, held them on a boat. Where's the kitty? Show me the kitty. Is that the kitty? You want that kitty? Can I take it home with you? Go give the kitty a kiss. outside for a minute and I believe that's the first time I've seen her actually go up and down a step. Go ahead Dana, do it again. That's a girl, good. Woohoo! Very good honey. Yahoo!
Yes. Where's Dana? Peekaboo! Where's Dana? Look at those pretty flowers and the pretty flags. Oh boy. Flowers. Where's the trash? Dana was walking along and pointing out flowers, bag, trash. You got the fags. Meanwhile, back at the flag making. What you got there, Rave? Oh, cool. Cool. Well, it's time to say bye bye to Fort Mifflin. Bye bye. Say bye bye. And oh, look at this one. One gingerbread cookie. Cookie. Nice and sweet. And one little Santa with a big bag full of treats. Santa. Is a stocking. See? Like a sock. One stocking for you and one stocking for me. And lots of surprises under the tree. Frank for so long. Get him off. Well, I, I, he's just going to be like this. Well, actually, you know. I still haven't gotten a clock. So wait a minute. I still have to do that. Okay. 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 You always want to record black at the beginning.
nothing. Right now, it looks like it's not going to be picked up the way the other one was. This is going to be a nice transition. Hit it again when you're done.
Did I get Now, if we're reading this timer right, we've only done three minutes. Really? Mm -hmm. This balloon is soon to become. This is this is the first strip we will use. Yes, Pinky. I will dip it in. This is not how you do it. Oh. Just hold off for a bit. <laughs> well, that's enough for me. The second. Oh my. This is so disgusting. Not really. Oh. Wait, this is Gucky. Gucky? Gucky? Can you spell Gucky? Uh, not right now. I'm oh, okay. Nope. Just put it on. Don't, don't smooth it. Just you know, start layering. That's it. That's a ticket. Oh, 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 pick that, it up, pick it up. going to happen. For somebody I don't know, I don't know who suggested you tape it onto the base, so that sort of thing doesn't happen. But I won't. I don't know who did. Who suggested that? I do. Like we'll put on. Wood. You can never have too much paper. It's nice in a while to do paper mache. I think this is glue, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should glue it around there so it'll stick. It's about a boy named Milo who, who isn't interested in anything and doesn't know what to do with his life. One day, he finds a package in his room. He opens it and it says, One genuine toy. He goes through it, he pays a fare, and he finds himself on a highway speeding a normal car driven by himself. He, he finds many places and he meets many weird and strange people, <coughs> including a watchdog and a humbug. The watchdog is not what you think. It's a dog with the watch attached to the side of his body. <coughs>
Sue Beach. She tells me a story about two cities, Digitopolis and Dictionopolis. One said that words are better than numbers, and the other said numbers are better than words. One then came Rhyme and Reason, who tried to sell their speech. One day they got banished from the kingdom. So, and two quarreling cities got rid. They decided that that they decided that that Milo should rescue on the reason to settle the disputes between the two cities. And so, with the help of two people, the watchdog and the humbug, they decide to rescue them and leave them. Will they do it? Read the book to find out what happens. My opinion of this book <coughs> is it was really good, but it got confusing. Just, and it got really confusing because it took me. It was just really weird, and it was. I recommend this book to anyone who likes to read weird stories and who likes to read long ones. The end. Well, yeah. What what crime did Milo commit? Well, he messed he messed up all the words, and he got them all mixed up. Because he fell into a barrel and they all got mixed up with another barrel. Oh, okay. And then the short policeman came out and he, <laughs> and, um, and, and put him in jail. <coughs> what? Did, did the author write any other books besides the Cannon Colby? Not that I know of, but he probably did. <laughs> can, can you show me about your project? I did a head of Milo. This is this is the long-haired version. And since he was called the Phantom Toby, the mask on, wiggly eyes, and that's pretty much it. Dana, can you clap your hands? <laughs> the end. Very well informed. So you like the book? And there's the book. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings. She's coming. She's coming. Oh, hello, Avery. Hello. Hi. Hi. Go past Sparkle. That's what you want. Hi, Avery. 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 Hi, So what do you think, kid? Cool. What do you have to say? I'm hungry. Okay. There. She's getting tall. I'm getting there. Not quite tall, that though. No? no. For your age? No. I'm, your I'm incredibly short for my class. I'm the second shortest person in my class. What are you? Joe. Come on. Let's, I'm going to put her by the door. Well, you know what's for Sparkle. supper? Papa Joe said you like, um, you like sweet and sour meatballs. She'll jump on you. She will not jump on a child. See what she does? Dana, you want to pet Sparkle? She went right through the See the doggy? 
Get from this angle and get her head. Nice doggy, nice doggy. Want to nice pet the doggy? doggy? It's okay, Danny. Pet the doggy. It's a nice doggy. Nice doggy. 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 I'll bet Dana would like to do the swing. You're going to get dizzy looking at that if you swing it back. Want to see the dog? No. Does it make a sound? Oh. Someone push me. Oh. We'll speak. You will not speak no. on camera? No. Oh, come on. No, speak no, no, on no. camera. No, I don't complain on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so are you feeling okay? Yeah, I think I'm just tired. Okay. Oh, we've been going pretty constantly. It seems that way. Are you home for a while now, at yeah, least? Well, Tomer's coming into New York on Thursday, uh -huh. on Friday. Uh -huh. Still wants to go up and meet him. He'll just be there for the day. Then he's, that's, that's Jimmy's oldest. Then he goes down to Mexico to see his brother. And then he goes to New Orleans, because that's the job he has. So, oh, my. Now, what if you want to... No, do you think she could hold yeah, on by herself? Yeah. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's in. Do you want to go? Do you want to go on? She doesn't want to go. Leave her. Leave her. Video. How do you get the, the still one? It just sort of shoots it on the video. Well, she's very friendly this time, Joan. Yeah, she's just that. She was always like that. It's just hey. you caught her on a bad day. So, Joe, now that we're on video, you know, for, for posterity now, do you have, what, what profundities do you have to uh, transmit here? I have no profundities. No profundities? I'm a humble man. <clears throat> I think the world's going to the dogs. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and Avery agrees. Yes. Have you guys been up to New York to see I drive a I'm toying with the idea of getting another car. Boy, you just got this one not that long ago. Three years. It's been three years? Yeah. What are you going to get this time? Probably another Sable France comfortable. Woo! <laughs> now here we have Joe at his happiest spot here working on his computer where he has gotten hours of deep satisfaction and joy. No. <clears throat> Total frustration. And, uh, Be right down, Julie. Here you go. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. <coughs> now we get to eat some grub. Oh. Milk, juice, and water. Ah, thank you. Orange juice, milk, and water. Orange. I'm no, I'll have all milk. No. Or milk? I'm just going to get some water. Yeah. Kelsey is very excited because Fran has been nice enough to serve her Kelsey's very favorite. That's right. Meet the balls. What we dream of. <laughs> Meet the balls. We dream of these sweet uh, salads. Who's the water? Now that is a very artful salad. Me. Very artful. Good heavens, you're, you're taking a picture of salad? Ooh, cornbread. She's got the sweet and sour meat. Do we have a bid for her? Do we have a bid for her? Sat in the car. I have a bib. Yeah, let's put a bib on. Dana, you have a bib on yet? No. You gotta get a bib. Get the broccoli. You like the broccoli. Thank you. Three. Oh, well, four. four. Yeah, three. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, then my sister, uh, oh, nice. Mary, has uh, a little girl who just turned uh, four. Five. five. Angel Blush. She's starting yes. kindergarten. What are you doing? Computer well, Kelsey, you look like you've had a lot to eat. You exhausted? Did you eat all those meatballs? Good God, she ate like an adult portion. You ate meatballs. Ate meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Wow. Good Lord. Man, six. That's a lot of meatballs. And now Dana has decided to eat. What are you eating, Dana? What's that? Is that cornbread? Isn't that good? Good stuff. She had that much. 
Been a tough meal for you, Hive. So I shouldn't give you ice cream? You can give me ice cream anytime you'd like. Ah, uh, just so we need more sugary stuff. Yeah! You don't have to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't worry, we'll eat it. <laughs> How can I help you? <laughs> Sit and digest your food so you'll have room for the next. <laughs> now, is every one of your grandchildren up here? Uh, yes. It's a lot of grandchildren. Well, you made a very nice dinner. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It was a simple one. Just gave you what you what what, what we knew you liked. You want the rocky chair, Dana? It's the rocky chair with Kelsey? Well, this is a rocky chair, isn't it? Yeah. It can be. You want a rocky chair? <clears throat> now, I'm here today with Joe Noble, who occasionally has some things to say. And this is the perfect way to, uh, to say stuff, <laughs> to be profound. Dance All right, so here we go. You're going, you're yeah, going. You That's it. Right That's no. it. Okay. No. You're recording now. You can record oh, your, yeah. your thoughts. <clears throat> of course, the lens is there. Remember. So. My philosophy okay. involves man's creation. Are you going to draw? <clears throat> when God finished um, on the sixth only, day, do a blink of an he was very tired. He was creating, creating a universe is no yeah, simple just, job. So he decided he's going to create one entity somewhere in this vast universe which, whenever he looked down, would give him, would make him laugh. Would be, they would be doing something silly, something ridiculous. So he created man. And indeed, man did not disappoint him. Oh, you're telling that to, to the... Oh, how about that? Uh, we can have our... Okay. Thank you. This is a little bit light. Dana's driving the car real fast. Go real fast, Dana. Whee! Oh, thank you, friends. Did they both say Alaska, too? Yeah. Can you go real fast, Dana? Whee! Yeah! <laughs> Wanna get out? Okay. I like it just as Kelsey enough. as Poe. Definitely. So this fun. is going to be Dana's outfit, but Dana's a little freaked out by the whole thing. So. Oh, look at look at that. Look at that girl. Wow, it fits you. All you need is a red uh, outfit and you could be Poe. We could make a little square. Do you know that? That would be perfect. It's tight. It's beautiful. Yes. Now we're going off to the Agora. <laughs> Like your on our way to the Agora. Dana, you like your no. Julie, you're the one who wants the poke. She could care less. <laughs> to the Agora. And here we are again. Another year. Another Agora. Hey. Well, look who we found here. What a surprise. <laughs>
dog of this Okay, creature. how I won this was, I tried it, thinking it wouldn't get anything, so I lured it over to the corner where it was. It didn't, it barely even touched it, and, let, and when it up, brought up, Santa Claus, like these four fingers, and only one of them was like holding it up by the snout, and it brought it over and dropped it. And so it was like really cool, so I got it. Yes, You're the man. Avery, I've got it. I know what you can be for Halloween. What? You can dress up like her. Or undress up. Or undress up like her. <laughs> and you'll have to cut off your arm. Oh, dear. Kelsey, what do you think she's doing? I started off with
I think she's being pretty cute. What do you think? Baby, sit down. <laughs> what is this foot action? <laughs> Dana. Isn't this so much fun? Yeah, isn't it? All right, thank you. I love you. the country music. Ah, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Passing all sorts of little pavilions and all sorts of little civilians, etc., etc., etc. Probably one of several dozen parking lots that are filled. And this is not the way I remember the farm. And if it continues like this, I doubt I will come back. But we are here. It's parking lot heaven. Oh wait, there are a couple of spaces. At least she's having a good time. Tending soil through the air as minutes slow. The tractor pulls us way up there. How fast can this thing go? Ta-da! You want that pumpkin? Look, what's that, Dana? Pumpkin. Pumpkin? Is that Dana's pumpkin? Oh, oh here's another one. himself. Yeah. He was sort of broken up half, separated from Mom and Kelsey and Dana. And he's separated from us. He's separated from our little Poor Uncle Fred. Can you do the Barney song? That's so pretty. Do the Barney song. Sing it. Sweeping the Chai Wai Wai Woohoo! That's so pretty! What other song can you can you do Twinkle Twinkle?
that's a pretty song. What other song can you play? How about the ABC song? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, 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 Dana plays the prettiest song. Happy birthday. Should you do the happy birthday song? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That is pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Sit there. Okay. Okay. Dana's playing more music for us. What song are you gonna play? Okay. What do you song are you gonna play? It's pretty. Can you play a pretty song? Yep. Let me get the phone. Bye bye. Okay, what song are you going to play now? Hmm? Can you play a pretty song? Hmm. Please play a pretty song for us. Ow! Daddy's. Did you get him? Here's Dana. Are you going to come down the steps? Turn around. Come down. She's 
Very good technique. Tickle, tickle. Little star. Very good, honey. Woohoo! Dana now sits facing front in her new car seat. Dana, do you like your new car seat? Do you like it? Oh, it's a nice car seat. Okay, I'll help you. Well, and here she is in her new car seat. Do you like your new car seat, Dana? Okay. Is it comfortable? Comfortable. I'll bet you like sitting facing front. Isn't that fun? Front. Yeah. Say cool. Yum. Yum. And here we are at Tatum. Come to see Kelsey in her classroom. Right, Dana? Let's do it. Someone is very excited. Yeah. Woo. Good. Look at all those pretty Tatum flowers. Ooh. Aren't they nice? Wow. Cool. Tell us a little bit about your class. Well, our spelling book's in there. Okay. Uh, book report's there. And, and where do you keep your babies? At the house. Ah, uh, good arrangement. All right, let's bring the first group that has everything handed in. Where is Kelsey going to sit? Aha. Right uh -huh. I'm still trying to figure out what these things are. No idea. Dana got a book too. Is that a good book, Dana? Oh, I remember this guy. Nobody spoke. Amri had a seat on the door when Patrick suddenly said, I'm going to wake Boon up. I don't care. I've got to say goodbye now. Let me go ask. 
Hey, what's going on here, Dana? Is that your belly button? No, that's not your belly button. Do you want to go to school soon? You old enough? Yeah. <laughs> Go and give Kelsey a kiss. No. 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 Did you say numbers? I wanted mine Unfortunately, Dana was not terribly cooperative today, so we have to say bye-bye to Tatum. Say bye-bye, Dana. Bye-bye. All right. All right, girls, what's going on today? We're going on a class trip. We're Let me know if I'm going to fall mushrooms. backwards. <laughs> We're going to go smell mushrooms. And this is mushroom it. day? Yeah. All right. 7-Eleven lady said that it didn't sound fun to her. It, it's 7-Eleven. Yeah, and the 7-Eleven lady's wrong. We're going to... Yeah, we're um, going to... Have fun! Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm going to be documenting today. Oh great. You're yeah. Welcome. Too bad you can't document the smell that goes with it. Yeah, I know. Oh well. <laughs> Two ready to go? Yeah. Now, do you feel you're going to be able to maintain your sanity throughout the day? No. Be honest. No. no. Okay. <laughs> of course, the only thing missing are the buses. Apparently, they contracted for the buses on Wednesday, and uh, today is Monday. So they are coming, but they are late. So they will be here. So what time do you actually think you'll be leaving? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is this it? That would not not time to go yet. Here, bus number two. The buses should be here in a moment. Well, how does it feel to be on bus number two? Are you are you excited about this? No. No. <laughs> We're not on it yet either. Well, that's true, and it's not here yet, is it? No. Okay. Yes, where is bus number two? Where? Where, oh where? And then a crowd, the crowd cheered. There was the bus. The bus has arrived. Yay! <laughs> Time since I've been on a school bus. Is this a good experience? Am I going to enjoy this? Yeah. Is it going to be bouncy? Yes. All right. We're never going to be able to get out if we don't listen. And raise your hand. Julie. Well, Avery, what do you think of the scenery so far? You must be kidding. <laughs> I like the way the trees are all different colors. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, we'll 
Jump on the bus, go round and round, round and round, round and round. Oh, I like that. And after a rather long ride, here we are. News of the Nino Mushroom Farm High Tech and Menu Mate that we've talked about and seen in the video. We're going to divide up into four groups by home group. Uh, I will take a group around, Mr. Dina will take a group around, Marty will take one, and, and John. Five or ten minutes to uh, do the whole operation. Uh, some people right now are not doing what they're supposed to, which is paying attention. Huh, I wonder what this is a big pile of. They take the corn off of it, they grind them up, and then we, they deliver them to us. Next bin over is cotton seed hulls. It's the actual hull that, that the cotton is grown in. So what you see here is the material after you take the crop of mushrooms off out of the house. That's the end product. That's the actual compost when our when our uh, cycle is finished. We a lot of local farmers that they'll spread it on the field for fertilizer. And then also we sell to a couple of local bagging companies. All the rainwater, all the storage area, and all the concrete, we have to clean the law. We don't let anything go out, out of the wharf area. Everything has to be contained here. The machine you see running there is what we call an aerator. And all that's doing is it just keeps the water circulating so the outside air keeps it aerobic so it doesn't build up methane gases and, and, and uh, start to smell. Well, it's like moving. <laughs> That's cool. Joe, go take a swim. It's really dangerous. That area has a lot of microorganisms in it that, that works in our favor. On the hill here is another storage area that we have. That's where we store all of our hay and our straw. Uh, we buy everything in in advance. Everything that we prepare here is three weeks notice. This is where they heat the compost. The video camera doesn't do it justice. And like right now, the, I'd say the average temperature is about 140, about 148 degrees in there. So you're finding this rather odorific, eh? Everything is computer monitored. We, we 
Okay. As I was telling you, the green tube is like a manifold in air chamber. And the air goes down and you see the tube's running long ways. So this is what the tube looks like. It's underneath the concrete. Okay? The air comes in through here. And, it, and the, the end of it is capped to pressurize it. Okay? And there's little holes in the top. And that's where the air comes out and works its way up through the compost to generate the aeration and make everything work. Okay? Ooh, I get to be in my own video. This is this is the, uh, the screen that you see on the, on the uh, monitor, and all these here are all your temperatures. So out of eight out of eight temperatures, the average is about 166 degrees. millet. Very small grain. Right, for something so that actually gets Shell. This is actually the shell off the, of the coca bean. Oh, that's so, that's not good. That's okay. refreshing. It's refreshing. Why can't I have more of that around here?
Oh boy, here comes some more stuff to smell. Uh, yes! <laughs> What's that? What is that? That's compost as it's finished. You saw what was coming off How the line. How warm is it? This here in, that, in this hot. Inside, inside those bricks, we monitor their temperatures. They're anywhere from 100, 150, 150 to 180 degrees. Okay? See that as, as the process goes on, the material tar uh, starts to turn dark. Oh man, I don't want a VW Beetle. I want one of these to drive around town. Cool. I mean, this is a vehicle with character. Then we got to go to see what was inside. Lots of mushrooms. Cute little mushroom. The mushroom itself is very Now, I'd say you've got a perfect mushroom there. What are you going to do about it? Uh, maybe eat we'll it. That Go ahead. Let's do it for the video. Okay. All right. Eat it, Joe. Mmm. How is it? Sort of good. I eat mine. Come on for the video. You got to eat it. Good. Try to eat it. Come on. No, I can't convince you? I'm not, I'm not trying. No. I don't know. See ya. Right down, please. Bye bye, beds of mushrooms. So, how's the mushroom, Heather? Disgusting. <laughs> Okay, Avery, this is it. Uh, <laughs> she loves it. She loves it. <laughs> I Do you like it? Oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs>